Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make speech synthesis in C Sharp or .NET, okay? So, in order to do that, we're going to create a new project, new project. I'm gonna select a console application. And I'm gonna tap app that can speak, okay? So, if you saw or watched my previous video on speech recognition, uh, you pretty much know uh, the basic of how to use that, how to use this. You need to download and install the speech SDK. I'm not going to show how to do that. I'm just, I'm just gonna jump in on the actual tutorial. So, let's add the library. Okay, let me come here. Come here and select system.speak. Okay, so this is the library. Uh, we are going to use the default uh, default Windows uh, SAPI voices. Okay, let's uh, import this namespace, which is uh, under system dot speech dot synthesis. Okay, so we kind of can uh, do all the program right here on the main main function. Okay, let's declare an object speech synthesizer I'm gonna call it SP equal new speech synthesizer okay I'm gonna add a consult with uh, to, to be more uh, I don't know more simple I'm gonna add a loop while while true which is gonna is going to make this program run infinite infinitely okay Let's add a console dot white line, right line, enter a text. Okay. Let's declare a variable text, which is going to be a string, which is going to also to be equal console to right line. Okay. So in order to speak, we just call sp dot speak which also uh, as speech recognition has this uh, sync method and the async method. I'm going to use this async method, okay? And we can just pass the string, okay? So let's run this. Uh, I think it's gonna be very easy to understand how this is gonna work. Uh, remember that I'm using the default Windows voice, which I think is a male voice, but I'm not sure. Let's uh, type hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. That I awesome. No, oh, I forgot. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay. As you can see, it's very basic. Okay. So this is a key. Uh, this uh, calls the method. Okay. There are other uh, events that we can actually use, but I'm not explaining this right now, uh, maybe later, okay? So, uh, let's do another thing, okay? Let's show all the voices that I have installed on my computer. In order to do that, we're going to use a for each loop. I'm gonna use installed voice, voice, m, sp dot, uh, installed get get installed devices which is a method okay so uh, this will return a list of all devices that I have installed on my computer I'm gonna use a console of white right line method I'm just I'm gonna use index uh, voice uh, maybe character Let's see. Okay, let's pass voice dot voice info dot name and comma voice dot voice info dot culture. Yeah, culture dot string because this is a culture info object. Okay, so let's run. I think. Uh, okay. That's there are this is are other voices that I have installed on my computer, which are Microsoft Dave the desktop 
Microsoft Mic, Simple TTS Voice, Microsoft Hazel, Hazel, Microsoft Mary, and Microsoft Zero. Let's uh, make them speak something. I'm gonna call sp dot speak async. Uh, we can make them speak their their names. Okay, so let's uh, type my name is. Uh, okay. I think that's good. So let's add voice dot voice info dot name. But we need to defi define the voice or set the voice first. Okay, I need to convert. Let me see if I'm not forget anything. Oh, I just forget it. This method doesn't uh, uh, allow us to do that because it's not a console that run nine. It's a, a speed or speaking thing. So we need to format this. Let uh, let's use a var variable. So we can just my name is. But let's go. To, let's uh, concatenate this voice, voice info dot name, which is a string. Okay, that's that's great. Let's uh, enter here text, text. Okay. But first, we need to define the voice. So to do that, we are going to. Use to type sp dot select voice, and we actually need to pass a voice name. This which is just voice dot voice info dot name. Okay, so this is going to def define the voice, and this is going to speak speak some text with the actual actual voice. Let's uh, run this. My name is Microsoft David Desktop. Uh, maybe there there is some problem here okay there are a problem here so how can we solve this well let's just add a try catch try catch uh, scope or body here so when some error occur we just uh, pass to another let's just add a continue let me see. I, um, I have to add a exception here. Exception X uh, and as a uh, uh, action, let's continue. My name is Microsoft David Desktop. Okay. This is the blah 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 blah. My name is Microsoft Hazel Desktop. My name is Microsoft Zero Desktop. Okay, as you can see, uh, some voices didn't work. Like this simple, this uh, voice, simple TTS voice is, it comes from uh, the speech SDK. So, and I think this Microsoft Mary also comes with SDK, but I'm not sure. Okay, so that is all that you need to know. The basic that you. Uh, need to know about speech synthesis in, in C sharp, okay? So I hope you like it. Uh, uh, I hope that you subscribe if you want more content about this and that stuff, okay? So that was the video. I hope you like it. See you later.